Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I haven't done like just like a regular, just like kind of play with makeup day in a while. So I'm gonna share a couple new things that I got. My hair's still wet, I just got out of the shower. It's Sunday, it's freezing. Chicago is a tundra and I don't know why I live here. Basically, I'm never leaving my house again. So I wanted to just Take advantage of my Sunday when it's still sunny. I think I want to start with the eyes. Not really sure what I'm gonna do yet, but let's find let's find out together. I have a couple palettes here that I'm gonna try out and um, experiment with. So really quick before we jump into the video, I just wanted to remind you guys to please subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will link those down below. So before I zoom you in to do the eyes, I'm just gonna straighten my hair really quick. I just went and blow dried it because. I was getting cold. <laughs> so I'm just gonna straighten it really quick and then once that's done, I'm gonna zoom you in and we can do the eyes. So the hair is straightened. Just bashed my toe on uh, the chair and it really hurts right now. So I'm just uh, again, taking a minute. It just feels like I kinda got shot in the toe. Just the pinky toe, just pinky toe. So I'm just gonna prime my eyes really quick with some concealer, just the L'Oreal Infallible. Really quick, I'm just gonna set that the RCMA No Color Powder. So I have four palettes here. I've got the Warrior Two by Juvia's Place, the Nubian, Nubian, sorry, by Juvia's Place, the Friendcation palette by Joseph Colors and Desi and Katie, which I kinda wanna use, and then I have Soft Glam by ABH. Part of me wants to do blue because it's cold and like I'm blue a little bit, but also part of me wants to do like warm tones because I just wish I was warm. Basically, I think I'm gonna use the two Juvia's Place palettes and do kind of a brown, warm brown look. So I'm gonna start with the Warrior Two palette and I'm gonna dip into this top shade right here, Yodit. I'm gonna butcher these names because I am <laughs> as white as can be. Okay, so just taking that on a fluffy brush, I'm just gonna work that into the crease. So I have done nothing all weekend. We had some people over on Friday, but it was very chill. We just played some pool and drank wine, a little too much wine, and just hung out. And so it was a little, little, little HO done Sunday or Saturday, but it was fine. Napped all day Saturday. And then I started the Ted Bundy tapes. Is anyone else watching it? Has anyone else watched it? Do you love it? Because I just finished episode three and I can't wait to watch episode four, which is I believe the last one. It's so good and so clear how sociopathic he is. It's unbelievable. I do feel like they missed a lot of details about it. I like true crime kind of a lot. Uh, it's a nice distraction. And I listen to a lot of podcasts, so I, I've been binging My Favorite Murder, and they kind of cover it, but I've also listened to a couple other podcasts and stuff about it, and he's very interesting. I, we also just finished Mindhunter. That was really good. Uh, I cannot wait. Cannot wait for a second season. Super creepy. Then I'm gonna go with the shade Zama right here. The center shade. Anyway, I was talking to Monica about this. I'm excited for the Ted Bundy movie with Zac Efron as Ted Bundy, and she is not as excited. I think she's gonna do a good job. I actually think, I think he's a pretty underrated actor in the sense that people think that he's just hot and is always kind of playing silly characters or just shallow characters. I think he's actually really good, like a really good actor. I think he's not been, in a lot of big movies, he's been pretty typecasted as like a hot jock or whatever. And I think it's gonna be good because it'll kind of open him up to more of a dark side, which I think will be really interesting. I think we haven't really seen that from him. I think it's gonna be good. I saw the trailer just came out. It was exciting. I think it's gonna be really cool to see him in that kind of role. And I think it's gonna be good. I just, I just watched the trailer too. So I was like, oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and grab this shade right here, Jamada. So yeah, we've been watching a lot of just like <laughs> serial killers, like, what are they called? They're thrillers, but they're like, I don't know. They're kind of based on true events kind of deal. So we've been watching that and then we started Miss Maisel 
just is more of like a, a light show amidst everything. If we are not ready to fully depress ourselves for the evening, we throw that on and that's cute. I like that one a lot. So yeah, you guys watching anything interesting because we're flying through shows right now. I'm not complaining. So yeah, if you guys have any show recommendations, let me know. All right, so grabbing the Nubian palette. This palette doesn't have names on it. The shadows don't have names, but I'm gonna grab this shade here in the corner and I'm gonna use a flat shader brush and kind of just pack that all over the lid. Hopefully it has good payoff with a brush. I would think it, we'll, we'll just see. I'm gonna use a brush first and see how that works. It's kind of unfortunate because these don't have mirrors in them, but whatever. Then I'm gonna grab the brush we just used and blend those edges out over here where I packed that shade on. Okay, so I just packed that on. It's way more pink than I thought it was gonna be more brown, but it definitely has a red undertone to it. I'm going to grab a brown on a smaller brush, just this little accent brush here. I'm just gonna grab the brown right here. We used this color all over the lid, I'm just gonna use this one. Monica just called, so we're gonna go thrift shopping today, which I always love to do. Why not? So I'll be just very uh, made up for thrift shopping, which is uh, fine by me. I do not care. So I'm just kind of placing this on the outer V and then just dragging it into the crease here. Nothing too crazy. So just with a flat shader brush, I'm gonna grab this shade right here. Again, it does not have a name. And I'm gonna pop this on the inner corner. Tons of reflect, which we love. I'm gonna use this shade right here as a brow bone highlight. Oh, that has a pink. Shift to it. God damn it, now I look crazy. So really quickly, I'm just gonna do some liner and lashes and then I will be back to do So now that I've put the biggest lashes on, let's do the face. These lashes are Eyelore Jasmine Brown in the style JB. I've worn these before, I really like them. Uh, I didn't put them on great, so I need to prime. I'm gonna still use my tiny Smashbox Reducing Redness Primer. Whenever I do my eyes first, it reminds me of like when I was 13. Well, I didn't wear eyelashes, but when I was 13 and I never did my eyebrows and I kind of have like PTSD from it, but not really. Yeah, it's just a time, remember a time where no one did their eyebrows? 90s, early 2000s were wild. Also, I had like the tiniest little like brows in the world, little sperm brows and they were super not cute. I'm just going in with a little bit of Bye Bye Under Eye. I still have, th this is just a tester and I've had this for so long cause like you just don't need that much. Anyway, so my mom went and got her brows done at Nordstrom and they had like an Anastasia there, but she went and got her brows done and she's like super particular about her brows. So she took me with and I was like, mom, I know how to do my eyebrows. I know how to do my eyebrows. And she was like, yeah, okay. Like I just want to come, you to come with and like we can, you can talk to her and see what she does. And I was like, oh, fine. I had to be like 13, so this was, okay, this is pre-contacts. Honestly, I did, I did awkward stage really well. I had the early 2000s round glasses that with like really thin round frames, and then I hadn't had braces yet, so I had like, like no jaw. I really don't have a jaw now, but like, no jaw. And my teeth were all messed up and whatever. So, and then my brows were super, super thin and like rounded and they were just so gross. And then I went and my mom was like, oh, what do you think of her brows and like Casey's brows? And so the woman was like, oh yeah, they're good. But what do you want like your brows to kind of do for your face? And I was like, well, I kind of want them to like thin out my face because I was, I'm a, I've always been self-conscious of my weight as any woman in the history of the world. And she said, well, you know, like rounder brows make your face look rounder because it's just like like starting a circle. Like you're just round, 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 round. And I was just like, <gasps> and immediately stopped touching my eyebrows. Like from that point on, I was just like, I can't do this. Like I need someone to like shape them for me, like to make me look not round. I don't want to be round. My mom's a smart woman. She's very tricky. She knows that I won't listen to her, but I'll listen to someone else. That's exactly what happened. Stop doing my eyebrows like that, but doesn't mean I filled them in. They were still not filled in, but at least like shaped a little bit better. Then they still were like, still went through a phase of 
thin but more arched. I'm just using the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I was gonna use a different one and I completely forgot. This is the foundation I literally use every single day. I'm also well aware that this is not my shade, but the shade that's lighter than this seems almost too light. Sorry, I had to put my hair up really quick. Okay, so just going in with some concealer, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and the L'Oreal Infallible to brighten up my under eyes. I also like woke up with a little breakout. That's fun, loving that. So I was thinking about like how I used to do my makeup, like since I started doing makeup and like how it's changed and definitely went through some phases there. I'm just setting the concealer with the RCMA. I was telling someone about how when I first started doing makeup, I had like two little single shadows that were like from, I don't know, Wet n Wild or the drugstore somehow and like Back then, what like drugstore makeup was not good at all. And so I was using two. One was like this dark tan color and the other was black. And I would use the brush that it came with, which was garbage, and I would just apply the black all over my lid, then put the tan kind of like in my crease to my brow. Also, remember, these are really bad brows at the time and no one filled out their brows. So I was attempting some sort of blending out thing that was just not working. And it was like super, super patchy. Like it was so bad. So I was using like really shitty brushes and just not good. Remember, back in the day, no brows, eyeliner all the way around, and then imagine just like shitty, patchy black shadow. And then like a tan that's too tan for my skin. So anyway, worst makeup of all, of all time, whatever. So at this time I had also, I also had braces, honestly crushing the awkward stage. So really quick, just bronzing with the Becca Multitasking Perfecting Powder, whatever the fuck it's called, in Warm Honey. Just bronzing up the face. I was doing that and I was, of course, not listening to my mother telling me it was awful. You know, cause she didn't understand, she didn't get me. She didn't know the trends, right? <sighs> so this was, oh fuck, how old was I? So I was like 12 or 13. I don't think YouTube was like a thing then. Like I was like, we were on dial up. Like this was, there was no YouTube. So I was like, just doing my best. Thinking I was doing great. I wasn't. So what she did, cause she's a smart woman. She decided to call someone from Mary Kay who like lived in our neighborhood. And so she asked someone from Mary Kay to come over and I was like super, super excited. She kind of surprised me with that one. So this woman like taught me how to like blend eyeshadows and like what colors to use for like for my eyes and like how to make them pop. And then, so she did my makeup or told me how to do my makeup, I don't really remember. My mom bought me some Mary Kay stuff, like the stuff that we did. I just remember being like, oh my God, it looks so good. So good. we went to a, it was like a family event after that. And so I was just like feeling very fabulous, you know? And I think that was, that was like the beginning. Like that was very much the beginning of like me doing my makeup and like all the stuff. Of course I still wore way too much eyeliner. Just applying the butter blush in Plum Rose, just a light dusting. Then I was thinking about how I was really into, and like still kind of am, but I don't do it as much. I'm really, like I really like the, 60s mod like um like heavy wing and like that kind of look sorry my lips are really dry so i'm gonna put on some agave lip mask really quick i was in college it was a freshman also really quick dipping into the amreezy anastasia highlight so i would do that and like if we were gonna go out i'd like do the whole nine yards so i would do basically like white out my face <laughs> like not white out, but like totally take color away. And then I would do like a heavy wing. I, at this point I was doing my brows. Then I would, this is the, this is the worst. I used to take like a Maybelline, like some drugstore concealer that came in like a lipstick pen and I straight up just used it as lipstick, right? Like when my lips were totally gone. Then I would kind of wipe some of it off and add like a gloss. So I, I was wearing like concealer lipstick gloss combo and so i thought i looked so good i was like oh my god i'm so mad oh my god no 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 i look at those pictures and they are so bad the lips are just like i look dead like it's crazy there's no 
and this there was like no bronzing anyway so we've come a long way you guys I still look like I'm wearing concealer on my lips right now though because I love the foundation but anyway I'm gonna really quickly do my eyebrows off camera and then I will zoom you in to finish the eyes so today brows are on I've been addicted to the bomb ass brows collection so fucking good uh, it, they might be a little dark because I uh, this is who I am as an individual and I just tend to go too hard on brows, but look, I'm making up for lost time, okay? I didn't do brows for so long, now they need to be super dark. Okay, so I am gonna grab the Warrior Two palette that we used for the eyes and just grabbing like a small dome brush. I'm gonna go in with, with the shade Yodit, which is the first shade we did use in the transition shade, and just kind of blend that right in there, the lash line. I feel like I've had six cup of cu cups of coffee today, but all I can think about is how I want another one. It's probably not healthy. Also, it's probably why I sound like a crazy person. I'm just like. <laughs> I'm talking too fast. Anyway, so I'm just gonna mix both of these shades. We used them on the face, or on the eyes, sorry. Um, we used these two on the eyes. I'm just gonna dip into both of them at once and uh, kill two burns with one stone. And just kinda do the same thing there. So are there any podcasts you guys listen to? Because I'm obsessed with podcasts. I don't know the last time I listened to music, I just listen to podcasts all day long. Like, that's all I listen to. Going in with that dark brown from the Nubian palette. I'm just gonna line my waterline with this black liner just cause it's here. I'm gonna go over I have where I highlighted the inner corner before. I'm just gonna highlight it again with this same color right here. I'm gonna put lower lash line mascara on really quick and then I'll zoom out and we can do the lips. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place liquid lip in this shade. I haven't used this yet. The shade Tatu? I don't know. It came, there was like a, it was like a double, like two, this, it's like the same color, but it came with a metallic and a matte version. I'm just gonna use the matte one. And then just like a, a burgundy brown sugar lip liner. So I'm just gonna line my lips really quick. Then I'm just gonna apply the liquid lipstick. This is way darker than I thought it was gonna be. I really like that palette. I need to use it more, obviously, because I like the color. That main shade that I used was not as brown as I thought it was gonna be, but whatever, it still looks pretty. I don't really care. As long as it looks pretty, it's all that matters. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Biggest, biggest, that is not even fucking glued down. God. Damn it! Smash bosh, smash bash. Actually, if you like this video and you don't subscribe, that's rude. Um, I just feel personally insulted by that. Mascara, mascara.